can't, you can't borrow him from your money. He will pay you back. Oh, it's a loan. No, it's a cost. I think we should just stay until when, or I can move in with him when he has money, or he should stay until when he has money. Then we will come and pay my bride price. So you can't borrow him? No, I can't borrow him. If I have the money, yeah. I will give him. You will give him to pay. No, no matter know. how, it's even very, it will be very, very better if he goes to borrow than pay. What than, if he borrows then, from you? What if you borrow? No, he can't borrow from me now. Nah. And you have, and he can't borrow from you. Okay, if he's borrowing from me, uh, and I know that, I don't know what he want to do with it, but I just said he need money. And I actually have the money. Sure, I'm gonna help him. I'm but gonna assist him. But what that he wants, wants to, to use it for me. Ah no, no, I'm gonna. No, I won't do that. I cannot. Why now? Not for any reason. <laughs> it's your responsibility to pay it now. So. No, he wants to marry you. He wants to marry me. Yes, but he doesn't have the money right to now pay to pay to my. Pay. Ah no. So you tell him to wait. Uh, you should wait to go and work more. You should work more. Work more. <laughs> if he wants to marry me, he should go struggle, get money. To come and pay for my bride price. So you will not help him at all. I can't. You can't even buy food that day or do something. Or I can do my own part, but paying for the, the giving him money to pay for my bride price, I can't. Welcome to another exciting episode of Trash It. Okay, and on the panel today are the ladies of the turn, referring to the Bridgerton. So, we've got a virgin on the show. And drum rolls. Like, sorry? I said drum rolls. <laughs> so, we've got Samira joining us in all our beauty, beauty, blue, and glory. Welcome on the show. Welcome, Samira. Welcome, Hi. Samira. Welcome. <laughs> and obviously, you should know these ladies by now. They've been I bringing do. flavor <laughs> to your life. <laughs> My gorgeous co-host, Celia, Ajike, Karima, and Ogo. Now, ladies, we're going to be trashing something really very funny and controversial. We're in the era of the feminist movement. So my question to you is, would you borrow or give your partner money to buy your engagement ring? You know, before you answer me, think about this. Buying an engagement ring is probably the first big financial decision couples make together. And it is said that an engagement ring is meant to be around times two or times 3.5 of his or your salary. So, yeah, yeah it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. So the question is, let's start with uh, Karima. Would you borrow your partner money or pay for your own engagement ring? No, no, please. <laughs> no, please and thanks. No, no, it's a no. It's a no. <laughs> Straight up, no thoughts, no nothing. No, 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 no. Okay. You are you. You asking me to marry you? I want to marry you. I love you. But you're asking me to lend you the money to pay for the engagement ring. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. <laughs> no way. No that's way. the first that's the first financial step in our relationship that you you you're asking me to be in a committed relationship with you. I would rather you wait until you've saved enough money to buy me a ring. Yeah, and I'm not saying you have to buy me, you know, an expensive million pounds, 350,000 whatever ring, but you should be able to Save the money first. Even if you said to me, I really love you, I want to commit and ask you for your hand in marriage, but I'm going to save so I can buy you a beautiful ring. That's fine. Don't ask me to marry you, but say, can I borrow the money to pay for the ring? Uh-uh. No. That's, okay. that's a no from me. Samira, this is your yeah. lunch. <laughs> I'm going to ask you. Uh -huh. As a trusted virgin, mm -hmm. and being a woman in all our glory, would you borrow or pay for your own engagement ring no no way that means you're not ready to get married to me mm. that's it okay. ah. Ogo, see yeah don't break any things yet <laughs> you're already laughing i can see you going down to um Katia to put some money down are you paying for borrowing your this is your ringo 
Yes, so it's my ring. I'm not giving you any damn money to buy my my engagement ring. Preach, sister, preach. Wow. Yeah, wow. if you are ready, you let me know. Yeah. Giving you money to buy for my engagement means that I'm the one engaging myself. And I don't yeah. even want to know when the ring is ready. Just get the ring. I don't even want to know you're buying the ring. Just get me the ring. And yeah, if you don't have the money, you don't have to buy it. Just tell me, can you marry me? Simple as that. Me giving you the money for the engagement ring means that I'm the one engaging myself. And okay, it, means, so, it shows I'm desperate. I'm not. Okay. You would rather not have the ring if yes. you can't afford it. Yes. Brilliant. I'll come back to you. As you can, <laughs> rescue me. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> you know, in my own town, they say, yeah, possible. Go possible. <laughs> possible well I don't, I don't know about people this day shall, but I mean, when i even got married me i'm one of the last set of people that married before they started doing all this in uh, niger bella niger wedding i'm the last set of those people so we didn't do proposal with a uh, engagement drink he went to meet my father and my mother and my father and they say yes and we began to do wrong things the way we are running it so i really don't i don't feel i don't know when i see people this engagement ring matter is just funny to me because engagement ring will not help your marriage. It will not be the foundation of your home. It's not help you. Maybe it's a form of investment I can sell and make money later. Maybe, but I don't know. So for me, it's not. It's not. It's a no brainer. I can't even bring that one. I, which money? The money that I have to eat. That I will not be giving you to. That I eat the money and grow fat and be fat to the glory of the Lord. That all this one that we are now giving. You know, don't even call me there. It's not a matter. It, it has ended. For me, no, 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 no. Would you then end the relationship because no, end no. care? No, I won't end it. So I won't no. marry. Okay, we we'll marry, but for me, I don't know. I know for some people, I've heard of people that you know they 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 made it a very big deal because the guy didn't give them an engagement ring or he gave them some kind of engagement ring, you know, that they wanted big sparklers, they wanted, you know. So in fact, let me let me backtrack. If like now, if I'm a man. And I tell you, Yori, please marry me. And I give you one small ring. I say you don't want money. You will give me money to go and buy that ring. You will give me the money to go and buy the ring that you want. But the one that I can afford and give you, yeah. please take it. But if you know that you don't want that one, no, and you want to go and pose with your friends, you will give me money. You don't even borrow. You will give me by yourself because I will not give you back. I will <laughs> you go and buy it. I will not use it to propose. We use it to do photo up, we we'll use it so everybody will see. I will give you and I will have peace. Celia, are you paying for your ring or are you borrowing OG money to pay for it? Well, thank God I'm married now. And thank God when he, she, before he even got me engaged, in short, the, the, when we started speaking, I told him, if you're not ready for marriage, don't disturb me. Just delete my number, don't call me back. Exactly. Right? That was what I told him. And, I, and we met in 2009. And I said to him, by 2010, I want to be married, right? But although I wasn't married in 2010, but we were moving on the right track. In that direction. And I began to say to him, I want a diamond ring with a platinum band, right? So that's my engagement ring, right? I want a diamond with a platinum band. I don't want white gold, yellow gold, or any kind of gold right or silver i don't want silver just give me silver. platinum like and the diamond it. and that's it so he started to do his own research about the diamond and the different cuts and all whatnot he never asked me to lend him the money to buy the ring thank god for that but given that i had already told him what i wanted i think maybe i might have put him in a difficult position if he could not afford what I wanted, right? So there might have been maybe a delay to the engagement because he cannot yet afford what I wanted. And if he came up to me and said, okay, babes, I only have money to buy this type, but you want this type and I cannot afford it. Would you lend me the money to, to top it up and afford what you want? I don't know what my answer would be, but I'd like to think I would say no right? And I would say no and accept what he can afford. Just for the mere fact that, as um, Ajike said, it's, very, it's a very desperate move for you to give the man the money to buy your own engagement ring. I mean, if he wanted you to lend him money and you did, 
and you later found out that it was the money that, uh -huh. that he used to buy the ring. That's a different thing. As long yes, as you're paying me the money wonder. back. Because if he still didn't pay me the money back, it would still look as though I bought the ring for myself. Because I don't want any man to come and insult me tomorrow and say, you paid for your ring. Did I even want to marry yourself? You did this, you did. Nah, I can't. So for me, I would not knowingly lend you the money to buy my ring. Buy me what you can afford. And as time goes on, we can go and can replace. upgrade the ring. Or when it's time for us to actually get married for the wedding ban and all of that, we can we can get a proper ring. I, I wouldn't lend you money, no. Now, saying that, you're all very, um, you're professional. You're well-read. You're kind of, the, the, the five of you are the kind of women that champion women rights. And we're in the era of feminist movement where women don't like the history of ownership. And contributing the cost of your engagement ring or buying it yourself, does it not kind of, this is your ring. How is this a problem when you're seeking equality? Yeah, I, me, I believe that the real feminist too, I really don't understand that feminist system, but I just believe I know there's some sort of liberation and all that. You should not want to marry in the first place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You should want to be alone and live yeah. your life and run your things. Yeah. If, I, if that's what's me under, yes, now. So, so that they're not even give you a ring. It should be okay. Mm. It should be okay. It should be fine by you. That okay, we are okay. We are doing things by us. Everybody buy your own things. Everybody do your own things. In fact, if you, we should not even be talking about engagement. It's when we are talking about feminism. It should be they are okay by themselves. They want to be. That's the way I see it too. Although some people explain that it's not like that. It's about some other movements or some other things. Okay. But this should be, I think this is also a part of it. Yeah. independence being by yourself you know doing things running things running the show ah you should not be you should not be offended by it now you should not but you, 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 you know, are a woman i agree with you that. hold on you're a woman that is with a lack of better word you want to be respected and recognized as an entity on your own so you're seeking equality in some exit you want to be respected pay the right amount so why can't you pay for your own ring you now you're a big woman because i'm not asking myself to marry me <laughs> and please, I'm not asking myself to marry me. I could do battle by myself then, buy myself my own jewelry anyway. Anyways, but so. no matter with regards to feminism and women's rights and seeking equality, a woman still wants to be have that romantic story. Yes. Come on, yeah, you still want you that. Want? You're still a female. Yeah, that's, in fact, I think I didn't, I didn't put it properly that you know, if I want, if I'm a feminist and I want to go down that route, yeah. probably, you know, so you know, you want to be catered to. Taking care of yeah. everybody gives this life to suffer now. Even and, the the problem, and also, the there's, a, there's a concern that hmm. if, if at the very beginning, when you want to commit to me, you're unable to afford just the engagement ring, how are we going to afford a house? Where are we going to live? Exactly. We're going to live with mommy? Mm -hmm. You see, the thing is, me, I've never... What about the I've basics? Never, I've Straight never... away, I'd start to question your ability to be able to take care of me as a wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never but I took care of me from the very beginning. That sets a precedence for the rest of the relationship. Okay. So uh, you need to buy well, in the ring. Karima. See what, what as long got? as it's not from Argos. Then you, you know. can't be choosing if you don't, if you can't afford or to buy H, it or H Samuels. You know, put a little effort, a little effort. See, the thing is, for me, I've never said I was a feminist, okay? Because I just think that feminist thing, a lot of people don't understand what they're doing there. You know, and a lot of people <laughs> misinterpret that thing, eh? And said, I think so. Yeah. Even I don't have the knowledge of it, it but mm -hmm. they yeah, misinterpret it so much yeah. that they don't know what they are doing there. So that feminism has now entered inside their head and is is made them to start saying things that they don't even understand, right? I am a very traditional woman, okay. I still want my see when me and my husband met, even though we were talking on the phone, right? When he eventually came to London to see me, I said to him, listen, you have to ask me out. Oh. That's me. I said, you have to ask me out. He had already asked me out on the phone. And I said, yes, I said, when you see me face to face, you have to say, Celia, will you be my girlfriend? And I will now say, mm, okay, yes, I will. And that was what he did. So when he saw me at London City Airport on the 28th of January, 2009. Well done. <laughs> I said before I gave him a I gave him a hug and I said okay before we move on to the next phases right you need to ask me out because right now we are just friends let's take it to the next level so if you feel you want me to be your girlfriend you need to ask me and he did and I said yes and then we 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 carried on that opened the floodgates for 
everything else that started happening to happen. Okay, because I'm not going to be in a relationship where the man will be saying, no, we are just friends. And me, I'll be saying, no, we have, we're in a relationship. So what I'm trying to say is, I'm a traditional woman. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm a feminist, so I'm going to buy my ring and give it to you to present to me. No, I'm not going to say, no, 50-50, you pay for this and I'll pay for that. No, if you can afford it as a man to wine and dine me, to pay all the bills in the house, and my money is for not, I'm just earning money and I'm not spending it. Go ahead and do that. I am the kind of woman that when I get on the train, please, men, beware. When you see this face on the train, I'm not a feminist. Stand up for me to sit down. Okay? Because I am tired. I had to get on how many trains, thanks to Corona, but I have to get on how many trains, three trains to get to work. And believe it or not, I can be standing in front of a man and the man will just sit down without even his conscience will not even judge him because poor man is probably thinking if I stand up for her now, she might think that, oh, I'm being, you know, I'm thinking she's a weaker sex. No. It confuses the man. Thank you. It confuses them. Back, Do I? Don't help I? Me. Help me. So I'm not many things are confusing. Okay? So many things are confusing a lot of people. I'm telling from, you. In this, in this, because in fact, so many, even the most innocent gesture is told mm. to me too. Yeah. For me too, cancel culture. In fact, I think it's a topic that Yuri and Celia have to look at. It's an, it's another topic because it's men are becoming scared. So everybody said, I'll just, mm, I beg go, I beg go. Yeah. But that's that, for a back, lack of a better word, I beg go, I beg go. <laughs> that's what they are doing. Now, Ogo and Samira, you are so, both of you are very quiet there. So let me bring you out of your shell. Now, I know <laughs> these three rebel on this side, Celia, <laughs> they, they are not willing to spend one penny. But with you agreeing to pay for your engagement ring, does that not demonstrate your commitment to the relationship? Especially when you know mm -hmm. that your baby is not able to afford the ring you want and you're ready for him to propose? Yeah, no. Like I said before, if you don't have it, you don't have it. You don't have to give it. Just say it with your mouth. Will you marry me? And that is it. If you don't give the ring, that doesn't mean that you've not engaged the person. You understand? So it's that all, all about it. <laughs> it's and all about it. Hold on, Ajike. Not of the ring. Just hold on. Oh, God. Please go on. Sorry. My mom that does not have a wedding ring. My mom. Yes. Wait. So now, yes, guys, I need to get for... into... Hold on, guys. Over I need to get years. into Oh, God, and Samira's head. Hold <laughs> on, God. Me, me that I'm not a kind of jewelry person. Look at that. I don't have it. I don't even know where it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Are you serious? laughs> okay. To so, me, it's, it's nothing. If you don't have the money, just say it. You don't have, don't go borrowing from friends or from your wife to buy it. No. it. It doesn't make any different. Okay, that for me, but some people, they are crazy about it. But me, no, no, I won't do that. Mira, but you're saying you wouldn't pay for it though. No, I wouldn't. You'd rather him... But, okay, so there you if, go. If, so your if, answer's kind of the same as ours. It's a no. Yeah, it's a no. 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 I'm yeah. Like, you're not even willing to consider an entry. But Samira, no, think about it. Because yeah. I'm just wondering, you agreeing to pay for this ring, does that not, because it's going to be your own, does that not demonstrate your commitment to the relationship? Like, I want to marry you. I want the best of you. But I don't have the money. Rather than us waiting till when I'm able to put money together to get you a platinum band with a 2.5 set aqua diamond on it why don't we you just demonstrate your commitment i i wouldn't give you the money but like even if you get me a ring that is even 50 pounds i'll take it yeah because i'm seeing that you actually want to get committed to me so maybe later on in life when god has blessed us then you can upgrade the ring maybe five years down the line or 10 years i don't mind waiting as long as we love each other you know, it's the thoughts that count and the, the gesture. So for me, I don't mind waiting. Even if it's 50 pounds ring, as long as I love the person, I'll take it. So you I don't have to do that. You don't have to get you with the ring. Guys, the cheaper version. <laughs> and that, like, <laughs> 10 years later, they, they upgrade, that they, you know, they've established themselves, they have a bit more money. Exactly. So lots of couples actually do that. They might say, mm -hmm. this is not an expensive ring. But somewhere in the marriage, you know, they have a special. No, I have seen it. I think they I need to change mine. <laughs> that's not unheard of. But that's fine. I think that's mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for the five ladies, would it matter the price of the ring? 
like、oh. Samira said, hold on, camera. Samira, Samira said she doesn't mind a fifty pound engagement ring. Oh God, is even happy to be without the ring. I think he's about to upgrade our own, but we don't know her price range. So does 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 it matter? Does it the 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 price of the ring does it matter to you? Because really and truly, if the price doesn't matter to you, then why exactly is he then going to? Because you know, like at the beginning of the introduction, I said it: an average engagement ring is reported to be times two or times three point five of your or his salary. So, does it matter then? If he can't afford it, is this the first time hearing that that's be true? And you have for three times、rude. your salary, and that's abroad in Nigeria. It's what you have. It's as your pocket is. You will not go and kill yourself. In fact,、yeah. there are many, 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 many people that will just carry one one meter and just wear it that day and just put on the Bible and dance and be going.、Exactly. And life has moved on. So for me, I think it should be according to what you are. Yeah. As in, according to your financial, right? Really, your is right. It should be because if you look at it, the the calculation you gave is based on your income. Yeah. So whatever is based on your income, if I'm not any plenty money, I'm not coming to us. I'm drinking Gary. Is it not better that money we use? To, that who am I posing for? Although in Nigeria. Bella Nigeria has put a lot of people under pressure. Pressure. They have put people but, under pressure. But if you、Bella、buy me a fifty pound ring, you can't ask me to lend you the fifty pound either. Eh?、Uh-huh. So yes, Karima is right. So you can't is whatever. That's why I put it down to fifty pounds. You know, at least fifty pounds, you can be able to afford it. Don't、yeah. matter how、mm-hmm. long it takes you to save fifty pounds. See, I mean, me. I'll I'll be honest. I was really really happy with my engagement ring. I was I I was over the moon. It was from、yeah. Hatton Gardens. It was a Tiffany cut diamond. It was、That's、white gold.、You. I love white gold. And it was exactly like I didn't even、uh, I didn't know it was going to happen either. Yeah. So yeah, was, that's what I want. I don't want it. I don't want to know when it's happening. <laughs> but my, but my husband had already had an idea of what I like. He knew what I. He knew I would want something big and outrageous, and I'd you know scratching my. People enjoy though. Me, it's my mother that bought my. And he, 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 you know, made the effort. Got, <laughs>、oh、got the money for it. I, I gave I, her the money would, when she was、I、going to London. I would have been really taken aback if he'd said to me, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to marry me. I'm like, gonna buy you. Like, like I said, I need you to hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just say in your story. I'll pay you back. I would have been like, ah, I don't know this. <laughs> I don't think so. It would have been a very harsh no. Okay, so you got your ring from a very reputable re- jeweler, and、yeah. that was in fifty pounds. Well, it wasn't. Was it? It wasn't fifty. It was in fifty pounds. So、no. that's what I'm asking. He、but、wanted. I didn't because... ask him to get me a ring from Hatton Gardens. But that、Jewish. was what you wanted. You said, "Oh, my husband knew what I wanted." No, the type of ring. I didn't say、oh, where、okay. to go and get it, but he already knew that I like white gold. I like, you know, diamonds. So he had an idea. He, I like Tiffany. Do you understand? So he already knew the things that I like. He put it all together and he found a, a place, a jeweler, and he got them to make the ring for me. Got them to design design it and make it specific for me based on what he knew that I liked, so it was specially made for me. But you know, he put the effort in. That meant a lot to me. That、yeah. he thought, and I don't know how long he thought about that for. You know, he could have yeah, been planning、exactly. that for a whole six months and saved the money, whatever. I didn't even ask, but I knew that there was some thought and effort. That went into this proposal and including the ring,、mm-hmm. and, and that will make you appreciate it、really、very well. <laughs> Not even can you lend me the money. It's like where's the thought? Where's the effort that's、mm-hmm. gone into this proposal? Not romantic. I don't care about no feminism. We do want to be romance. We do want to be dying.、Mm-hmm. We do want to feel like we're loved and cherished and treated like you know a queen. Really,、mm. I, I you can't come at me and ask me to lend you no money for no ring. Hello. No. I think I think it's very romantic as well when the man really wants wants to marry you and you can see genuinely he loves you but he doesn't have the money. Exactly. For me,、mm-hmm. I've said it before. If you really don't have the money to buy a ring, don't even give me a fifty pound ring because there's a thin line between not having the money and see finish. Okay. <laughs> because by the time you start giving me a fifty pound ring, I'm like.、Mm-mm. The best thing for you to just do is go and buy packets of Haribo. Yeah, you know Haribo has、um, ring、Rings. inside. No, no, no. <laughs> I find that very romantic. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gesture. Har- yes, Haribo has rings inside. Just pick out one, kneel down, 
and just say, Celia, will you marry me? Well, that ring, that ring, eh, I will so treasure it. And every time I'm really, you know, missing you, I will just take it and give it a lick. <laughs> <laughs> because, because for me, it just shows that it's a thought that counts. And obviously, yeah. maybe a few months down the line, then get we can get a proper ring, right? But I wouldn't, I don't think I really want a 50 pound ring because it will react to my, my skin. Okay. Because my skin is very sensitive like that. It's very sensitive to small. You don't have to wear it all the time. Cause I have a, I, mine, if it's not real gold or real silver, I react as well. Even yeah. earrings. Yes. So, please, earrings well. I will just though. keep it somewhere. Pump your <laughs> brain. I can see you. it. <laughs> All of you that have reactive bodies but are not willing to borrow your supposed other half money to buy you this ring. Because think about it this way. Celia has an... Celia, and I, I think I'm part of this. Celia and I have an obsession with shoes. And you buy your shoes. You don't have a problem spending money on Me. your shoes. I don't buy my I, shoes, though. I, no, apart from the one OG buys with you, you buy some shoes. No, I don't. I, you don't? Okay. So, okay. But the thing about it is that, let's even put it in context. It's your thing it's your ring would you prefer if he had gone to borrow money ah, to pay for this ring no please no because on the engagement or the wedding day the person you borrowed that money no from, no they're borrowing it we're they are probably borrowing. there wait we're talking about borrowing for backies they won't come and collect your ring okay no don't don't do that it's not that yeah. deep it's no, not there are so many other to things that. to do with I money i hate i hate borrowing i hate being in debt yeah. and that thing can give me heart palpitation exactly. <laughs> so no, please don't borrow money to buy me an engagement ring. No. Don't borrow money to buy me a wedding ring because there's so much more to the marriage than that day or than the ring. If you cannot afford it, get me a Haribo ring. I will continue to anyway. So with the Haribo it. ring, then we can then start making plans. You're yes. not gonna get an engagement. Wait, You're I have a question. Plans. Yeah, go on. We're all married, yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Me right oh, no. All right. <laughs> For those of us who are married, are we wearing our engagement and wedding rings right now? I'm not no. wearing mine. I'm not no, wearing mine. mine. <laughs> I'm not wearing mine. I'm not wearing mine. The reason is because of this corona and washing hands, washing cleaning hands, hand, washing hands, I just took it off and put it upstairs somewhere. And That's yeah. why I had to take mine off because I had allergic reaction to a hand sanitizer and my fingers swelled up and mm. my husband had to sit and pry those yeah. rings off. I'm too scared to put it back on now. Because my hands keep swelling with every... I stop using hand sanitizers. So I put it in a it's safe place. It's expensive of corona, blah, blah, blah. We all you know how much money gorgeous. was spent on all of our rings and none of us are wearing them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. problem. It, 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 I, I feel it's the thought that matters. Because I think about it this way. If it doesn't have the amount of money to buy, an average ring probably starts around 7K. It doesn't have enough money to buy that. And then you're waiting forever to get married. But Celia has given us a good um, suggestion. Everyone rush to Poundland. Get yourself get married. married. married <laughs> and then propose. But do you really think people don't want their rings? Shouldn't a man then fight to get money to buy the ring if that's what your missus wants? you have Every, seen that haven't you where the 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 fiance will go and buy the ring and propose and presents it and he's like will you marry me she's like oh. she's looking at that ring thinking mm. i don't like that ring it's not big enough not you big see, enough or not you, pretty enough or whatever the thing is every responsible marriage is not for kids right no marriage is not for kids it's not a small commitment so as karima said earlier the engagement ring is the first thing you buy, yeah? Except maybe you are from Ajikers era that doesn't really put much um, attachments to engagement ring. Yeah, that's fine as well. Or go like yeah, you said. Before you finish that, Ajike was saying, I'll let you finish, but Ajike, I'm going to come to you because you <laughs> gave your mom some money to buy yes, now. It, right, now time, all, all this we are kneeling down, we are proposing, hold was on. not there. I want to marry you, I want to marry you. We have agreed to marry hold ourselves. On, hold on, you I gave guess. me the money, we just packed our things. You know, it, it's part of all those areas you are wearing or something. Just gave me the money. My mom was going to the UK. Take it, buy it. I think she sent me some designs I picked, and that was it. Where would we even find in those days, 20, 2008, 2007? All these things, something, something, sense. this one sent, this one selling rings in Nigeria. They were not there. I think the only place you could get wedding rings was on wedding planner or 
you go to Lagos Island and buy those gold, you go to the gold people in Lagos Island where they'll cut it into you. So even that one is not romantic. It's not the two of you that we go there. They will cut it for you. They will give it to you and be going home. So the only, the, the only other option was to go and send somebody abroad. And those days, people were not going to London the way people are going to London like this. At least maybe me, my own family, people are not going back and forth like this. So it's when my mom was going, she went and she bought it. Whether it's Agos, so whether it's not Agos, so whether it's I don't know. It's a wedding ring. They wrote my name inside. From abroad. <laughs> hey, thank you. It's from abroad. So all this is because of all this the unnecessary romance. You want to kneel down. You want to take picture. You now have those. There's something that is hover around them when they are taking drone. They will now do drone over them. <laughs> I love you. All those things, their mind is most of them, their mind they last. So it's not by good. It's not by ring. That's what I keep telling you. It's not by all those things. Just do your own and be going. Do your own for the Lord. But if it's your thing, if it's something that makes you happy, and the man goes, like Karima said, he goes the extra mile to do that for you, it's so all well and good. Me, what makes me happy is money, and I like money. So once you give me money, I'm happy. There's peace all around. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I caught you there. Keep no, that's going. fine. I, and another thing for me, I believe the engagement ring is like collateral. Do you get? So when you when that man asks you to marry him and, and you he gives you that ring, eh, that ring should be worth something to the point where if you people break up and you decide not to give man the ring back, you, you can, can sell, sell that ring and get a good <laughs> amount of money from it, right? Yeah, that's why they said it has to be times two or three point yeah. five. Yeah. For your troubles all throughout the time that you guys were dating. You know, so yeah, I think I think the ring should be worth something. But the thing is, what if the man is not engaging you because he feels he does not have money and he sees the kind of girl that you are? You are this kind of Instagram girl, you want to show the world that you've got this and you've got that, and he cannot just bring you a ring of five hundred pounds, right? But then you're getting older. You are every year you're celebrating birthday. He brings you gift and it's not the ring. Because me, I remember when me and my husband, we started dating in 2009. And I already told him by 2010, I want to get married. Mm -hmm. And my birthday, 2009, there was no engagement ring. So I said, okay, well, no, it's still too soon. My birthday is in April, by the way. We met January. So I thought, no, that's fine. It's too soon. Christmas present, there was no ring. That's <laughs> December 20, 2009, I was like, okay, it's a bit too early. And then Valentine, 2010, there was no ring. No ring. Ah. And then April, 2010, there was no ring. And I'm just like, come, please, try and sort this thing out real quick because, I, I you know, <laughs> we're already over a year. If, you, if we're not going to get married, I need to move on because I'm not trying to be, you know. And then it was now 2011, July 2011, that was when we got engaged, right? So at the end of the day, it was it was something that I kept saying to him, I want, I want, I want to get engaged because I'm the kind of person I know what I want and I want what I want. Okay. And if you're slowing, I will help you, I will give you the push that you need. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna pay for my own ring. And he, because of the way he wanted to do it, and because he was trying to look at what kind of court and what kind of da 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 da. da so that took him time. And he did it in the Odeon Cinema in Greenwich, in the big projector. And we went to go and see a movie. And the next thing I'm seeing me, me and him's video playing. And, and I was like, oh my God, I felt so embarrassed. You know, I was shy. Considering that you wanted the engagement. <laughs> yeah, but I was still shy because I was like, oh my God, these people have paid money to come and watch a movie. And here you are showing pictures of me and you and blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, if he didn't have the money to do all of that, I would have still accepted it. I would have still accepted it because sometimes you cannot live your life on the gram. You have to think of what works for you and that person that you're with. Um, and as Ajike said earlier, you gotta spend money on the engagement ring and there's no money to eat. There's no money to pay mm. bills. Yeah. So okay. priorities. Mm. Perfect. In closing, what is the average lifespan of an engagement? Of a what of engagement? An, an engagement. No, not the ring. The engagement. Oh, the engagement. The engagement oh, okay. itself, that they would then give you this 10 million pounds ring. And they're still sitting on it one year, two years, until you become lords of the ring. Wow. At what <laughs> point do you then say, oh boy, you bought the ring. What are we waiting for? 
It's what you people say, you know. I don't really know about my own. I was very much like uh, Celia. Uncle, what are we doing? How are we going? How far, how far, how far? I met my husband, I think, October 2007. And by November 2008, I was a married woman. Yay. So I don't know how you people are doing it, but me, I will drag you there. What are you doing? What are we doing? How are we doing it? Set up everything. Pa, pa, pa. I don't know. Not this. I give my people. When I do, that's why I don't like to do marriage counseling because it's like I'm aggressive. But the truth of the matter is that that's how you cut the people that are ready to waste your time. When you come to them that I'm serious, Uncle, please, if you don't want to do something, let's not start this matter. I'm not going to be dating you and be saying I'm afraid to ask you a question. We ask you, how are we doing this? Where are we going? How many girlfriends do we have? How many battles are we fighting before we get to where we are going? I like you. Do you like me? Yes. So yeah, let's continue. So me is immediately is abroad. I will to do engagements or I've been you noticing know, some Nigerians so they will do get engaged this year, get married next year. Me, I did not do like that. I met him and in a year I was a married woman, and I think that should be the case for most people, except they are ready to waste your time. And I was only twenty eight. It wasn't as if I was old. So, <laughs> In case they are thinking maybe I was old. No, I was 28. Oh, God. I, 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 <laughs> I got... Kieran proposed on the 14th of February. Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, 2014. And then we got married on the 13th of August, 2016. Oh, roughly two years. Yeah. Mm. But in the middle of... But yeah, I think we would have got married sooner, but in the middle of that, I was doing a degree, I'd had a baby, and okay. and I we moved house. So there were so many things going on at the same time, but I planned the wedding meticulously. That was such a well-planned wedding so that nothing could go wrong. Perfect. So, so many half years. So two I'll years. Go. Two years. Two years. Two years. Yeah. Okay. I'll go. Yes. Lifespan of an engagement. Um, for me, I would say highest six months. The very first time the man, six months. yes, yes, now, <laughs> yes, but the very first time you're engaged, you should have you should start fixing a date, you should look for a date straight yeah. away. And within straight that, away. Six month, yeah, straight ah. away, fix a date straight away. Within that six months, you've planned is enough to plan a wedding. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's enough to plan ah. a wedding. Unless you don't know all these guys, they like engaged men and married men. No, that's the main thing is engaged like this. What 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 we start? That's what they say. Ah, this guy that was talking me since he got my. I'm going to go and spoil it. Quick, quick, quick. That's what one I do. And yes. do this place. The longer you leave it, the, the 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 chances for you guys to change your mind, or for people to start coming in and spoiling the man's yeah. mind or your mind or this man did that, this woman did that. I believe that before the man engaged you, you, you two must have known yourself, and. The very first time he said, Will you marry me? You fix a date and start planning. It shouldn't be more than that. No. That no. for me, or that's the way I see it. Six months, one year, 12, um, 24 months. Celia, my own is not one, my own is not one year engagement. One year from the day you have you meet to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Please, Celia, I'm back up to you. I did get. From the day you meet, <laughs> yes, I met my October. From the day you meet to the day you are, don't, don't waste your time without this. Me, I don't know how to do it. Pa 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 pa. Clear the ground. Let's have six months. Oh, okay, six months. Let me give it time. Just six months. But from the day you meet the guy, the target in one year, who came, cash him, anything wanna do. I'm sure some mirrors are. Like, where did that enter into? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's good because I'm learning, right? I'm learning. Yeah, which is good. So <laughs> sorry. No problem. So Samira, you know not to take a chip ring. You yeah. know <laughs> you know where to use whether or John. I know not to time. waste time. You know yeah. not to I'll waste go for time. The, so the, to, yeah. You need to know one year to max from when I meet the person to when I get oh, yeah. married. You yeah. know yes. a meticulous <laughs> wedding. Celia. <laughs> Lifespan of an engagement. Okay, so I met my husband 2009, January, and I, I know I said we got engaged July, um, July 2011. No, we actually got engaged July 2010, the following year. And mm. then by January 2012, we got married. So how many, we, we got engaged 2010, July, got married 2012, January. So That's six months. Six months, no, seven six months. months, like a year and so. A year, like yeah, a year. 
a year and a, a half and kind ten. of thing. A year and a half because we got married January 2012, got engaged July 2010. So about oh. a year and a half. Um, and this was because he lived in Germany. I lived in the UK. So we had to do a lot of planning and family mm-hmm. and things like that, you know. But yeah, it shouldn't please. If you are engaged, anything after two years of engagement, that man is just wasting uh, your time. He's yeah. looking for alternatives. Two years is too much. Two years is long now. I'm just uh, even long. saying. I'm just <laughs> even saying to say, okay, maybe if you were in my in my in my situation in where the man shoes. lived abroad and things like that, you know. But anything after two years, the man is looking for an alternative. In this day and age, that we are using the list to do wedding in Nigeria, we will do the wedding on the Zoom. Um, the other one will be doing pass later. Oh my god! <laughs> well, there you go. Zoom it. It's a potential wedding. I think yes, I, met, I met my uh, partner in 2004, this September. We had a long courtship, actually. Met in 2004, December. We dated for roughly two years before he proposed. And then we got married in December 2007. Okay. Yeah. So... It, it, it was a matter of we knew we were going to have to fly back home because obviously I was here. My parents lived in Nigeria. So it required quite a few trips and all the stuff. But it's it's good when you are happy with the right person, with the right drink, with the right situation. The ladies of the town are not willing to borrow anybody any money, even to split halfway. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> halfway. Halfway. Uh, I think it's good practice. <laughs> and you know what you haven't talked yes. about? Once I lend you the money and we're married, you're not going to pay it back to me. No. Not really. So you're not, I'm not going to get back my money. Drink. <laughs> but wouldn't it be better, Karima, if he borrows from you rather than from borrowing from the bank that he would then have to incur a lot of I never send him to the bank. No. But, but send see, him to the bank. But the thing is, if he, was, if he wanted to borrow money from you for something completely different, would, that, would you lend him the money? It yes, depends. I will. Definitely, okay. I will. Mm-hmm. It depends. Okay. Oh, would you okay. have to give you a reason to borrow the money? To borrow so, money? Yes. No. No. I need to oh, borrow yeah. money. Yeah, because we have a house, bills to pay, children to feed. So imagine if you want to borrow money because you want to go skydiving or something like that. If you <laughs> drop dead after skydiving, I'm not <laughs> going to get back my money. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you want to borrow money to buy a flashy car. That's your need. That's not... But if you want to borrow money because your mum's house is flooded and you need to help her, I'm chipping, no problem. It has to be, for me, if I'm lending you money, it's so different when you're married because your money sort of gets, well, kind of gets wrapped up together. I like to keep my own stuff. But, you know, you kind of jointly pay for things. But I'm not lending you money for, for nonsense or to fulfill a dream of something i don't have time for that i got bills to pay and children to feed so i'm quite harsh that's a no that's a definite no but if you want to borrow some money for something that's really important you know you really need like even to go on and do like a master's degree or better yourself of course here you go here you go are you talking about when you're married or when you are engaged when we're married my dear (laughs) when we're married you ain't sending your boyfriend to university. He yeah. might not be my boyfriend when he's done. So, well, it depends. If you know that you guys are really going to get married, like you know, one hundred percent that the only thing that can stop that marriage is death, right? Then, yeah, I, I would, I would invest in that. But if we are just boyfriend and girlfriend, and okay, we are talking about marriage, and nothing is certain, and I should come and borrow you money to go and go to masters and then when you now become a masters in whatever you now say i'm no Women longer yeah. I'm, no, I, yeah, if, I, I'm no longer I on your level if i was married no nah. boyfriend and boyfriend and girlfriend thing is like to me it's because i'm older as well it's like plain house so my i'm i'm a lot strict now and i would say that tell that to my daughter the same thing you know you can't be lending people money especially when you know they can't pay it back and really, when you're married, you're, you're in a committed relationship, yeah? You're building, you're building yeah. a structure for both of you. When you're just boyfriend and girlfriend, you're talking about marriage and you're flitting around. There isn't any commitment. There isn't any assurity either, yeah? So I'm not lending you no money. When we're yeah. married, that's different. Can I, can I just ask, sorry, Yuri. So what would you girls, ladies, what would you say is the length of time two people should date before they get married or before you know that this guy wants to get married to you? Because I know some people be dating for years 
Crash. and nothing is happening. I think six months. Yeah, I don't think you can answer that question. Six I don't months. think there's a right or wrong answer. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Selena said six months. Six months. Yeah. <laughs> so I've known I've known two couples that got married within two weeks of meeting each other. How when long you have they know, when you meet that person, they've been married you know, for? You know. Are they still together? Ten years now. Yeah, yeah. How many wait, years? Because they've got like a 15 years old son. So oh, okay. Yeah. Were they in a previous and relationship before? Not that I know of. No. Well, you never know. Because no. You know what? Sometimes you meet someone <laughs> mm-hmm. and you know when you know. Yeah. When I met mm-hmm. my husband straight away, I just I just knew. And I remember my colleagues said, why, why waste time? Marry him now. But, you know, there was lots going on. So we couldn't do it. But you just know. Like when I met my daughter's dad, I was like, I don't I don't think so. I'm not mm-hmm. sure. But let's see how this works out. But I already knew that wouldn't work out. And I wasted mm. 10 years. Mm. You know, so that the people that got married within the two weeks, the both of them knew. And mm. now you say they have a And I think with us women, we have this sixth sense when you know. Yeah. yeah. With women, we have the sixth sense. If it's not going to work, something yeah. will tell you. We just tend yeah. to ignore it. You yeah. know? You, you try. Yeah. What it is, you put, yeah. women tend to put more of the effort in and try to make it work. Mm. Even though you know from the get-go, I don't think this is good. I don't think this is going to work. But I love them. I'm going to try. But sometimes you meet somebody else and you know straight away this okay. is good. Mm. I think we're now in the era where people don't want to waste time. So yeah. we're going to do it. We must well do it. Before, an average courtship, even when you want to say, I want to marry someone, the first question they ask you is, how long have you guys been together? I've only been mm. together for one year. One year. Are oh, you mm. been one already? So mm. two years. Okay, yes. Are you, you sure, should... Yuri? Because as young, I was, as, I was very, very young. I was as young as maybe my son, like eight years old, when my mom had been telling me that's when you meet someone, it should not be longer than six months. I was that young. Wow. So it, 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 it informed most of my decision, my dating decision. Two things she used to tell me. I am actually AS. She used to tell me, you are AS, you cannot marry AS. Then when the time comes, you cannot date somebody for any After six months, you, the two of you should know where you are going to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At within six months, you should know where you are headed to. Not others we are not sure. Once you are beginning to let him go, they quickly, 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 quickly chase him so that other people, fresh people, will see you. So me, I went to tell people. I went to tell people when I always tell my friends, see when a man chasing me away, let's see quickly go. You begin to package yourself, package yourself for this. This is a presentation, it's a live presentation. Oh, yeah, before you know you are looking old, you know, you are, you are acting like a married woman. Before you know it, so you are not. You're not taking care of yourself. You're not doing what's supposed to happen. Look sharp. Look fine. We will follow my map for six years. For what? That's six years. I think I agree to it too. That's six years. Is that one? You're just being stupid at this juncture. The man who six months. So for me, immediately I met my husband in October. By April, I was. I think by February, I was asking him questions. He was not answering me. I just removed him from my phone. Remove SIM card. Remove everything. Let him first of all be going. Ask him. I chase him away by himself. If I, the next time he will call me, he just say, please, uh, when can I see your father? Yes, now we are talking. <laughs> we can go and see my father where he's living. Have you all mm-hmm. read that book by Steve Harvey? I think it's um, Think I, Like I, a Man. I never read it, yes. How to be a man that, like basically, what you've described is what he said. He said, you haven't, you haven't required it from the man. But you did. You basically said, "Don't no, 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 no. We're not flitting around. This is my expectation from a relationship, and you yes. cut ties." And he was like, "For me, when I see the, gone, no, 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 yeah, I when I see ladies, and I'm not, I'm not the is. prettiest in the bunch. I keep telling people I'm not the finest girl around. If you are calling to standards, but my brain is working. That, and if that brain is not enough, or if you marry, I know that if I marry you, or if you marry me, your life will not remain the same. I know." I might and a lot not of bring... women make decisions based on fear. So you have no fear. Bring beauty to Some the table. Like, I'm going to lose him. But you was like, you could go. Yeah, <laughs> I might not be bringing beauty to the table. You could go. But I know what I'm bringing. I'm bringing values. I'm bringing things that money cannot buy. So, uncle, if you don't want it, another man is going to want it and it's going to be better off. So, yeah, please, so go. You can take yeah. a walk. Oh, and that was he it. came back and he was committed, right? And he, he I asked him for my father's address. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, went yeah. to Abuja and went there to see him. Yeah. Oh, Samira, yeah. I you're catching all of this. Two I am, I months. am, I am. What you're taking mental to. note. But don't <laughs> throw away the same card because in Ajike's case, her husband was working in her office 
so oh, listen, to listen there is Facebook, there is IG. So if you really, really want to be with me, you'll oh, find but I, Yes. I blocked him on my office communicator. I blocked him everywhere. When he wanted to call me, he had to call my colleagues. He looked for me. When he was ready, he looked for me. So that's the issue. If when somebody's ready, they will when, if, when you do that, so people are even happy. Ah, they say, oh, well, she has even free me. Let me be going. Mm. So that's how you know the, the, the person that is serious, the person that is not serious. Mm. Just like me, if I want to go, I don't want to go out. So you're not telling me we are later, GK, we are not going anywhere. I'll be so happy. And number one, I wasn't even dressed up to follow you anywhere. But I was just say, oh, oh, sorry, and I was already ready. I wanted to follow you, but since you're not going anymore, let me just relax. It's a lie. I didn't dress up. I didn't do anything. So Some people will feel that maybe you're putting the man under pressure. But pressure. for me, the answer to that is a man that really wants to marry you will not feel pressure. No. When you're telling them you need to, you need to make a move, mate. They will not feel under pressure because they will just be like, okay, I wanted to do it in two months time, but yeah, I can do it now too. There's no, you know. My issue is that when men do these things, they don't argue. They accept it. So why should you say, woman, if I always tell women, mm. come to the table with what you want. Yeah. Stop managing these men. Mm. If we man, tell him to go, be going, I'm sorry, don't be annoyed. Our mission and vision is not the same. Please be going. It's not because you know not how many that women married. could have been married a long time, but they wasted yes. time on men that had no good intentions. No yes. good intentions. No, no. The women they have this funny standard. It must be tall. It must be six feet tall. It must be muscular. It must be. Mm. Yeah. If you are that, you must be. You will stay here. Yeah, that too. Looking okay. for perfection doesn't exist. You know, uh. it's always a pleasure when you trash with the ladies. You <laughs> tend to live with sense mm. and common sense. Yes. So. Thank you to Celia. Thank you to Karima. Thank you to Olga. Thank you to Ajike and Samira. I know your book is full. <laughs> well, Big time. So, so, I'm going to start working on it. <laughs> so think like a man, act like a lady. Until next week, it's been a pleasure being on your screens, trashing this episode. Thanks for watching. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you.